guys, it's Bonnie. Today I'm going to film both my day three and four updates for the Booktubeathon. So, yeah. The reason I didn't have a day three video up on its own is because the footage I shot just, it, I don't know what was wrong with it, but it didn't want to, like, let me render it in my program that I used to upload it. And then when I finally, like, got that done, it, like, had a clip in it that wasn't even supposed to be in there that was really long. It was just, it was a mess. So I was like, forget it. Let's just combine the two. <laughs> Alright, so on day two, let's just recap that real quick. I read 343 pages that day and finished Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I watched the movie around like midnight, day three, so like right after, you know, day two was over. So I completed the challenge of read the book, watch the movie. Yeah! So then for what I read on day three, I read 321 pages, I believe it is, of The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I didn't get that much reading done that day. I mean, it was still pretty good, 300 something pages. So yeah, um, I probably would have finished the entire book, but like I said, my video was not uploading and it cost me like two hours trying to figure it out. But yeah, I really liked this. Talk about it when my wrap up. Going back on today, I finished this up like right after midnight. So that would technically count for today. So I read like 90 pages of this today before finishing it, technically speaking. And then I went right on to The Evolution of Mara Dyer, which is like over there. I really do not feel like getting up and getting it, but you know what it looks like, I'm sure. And I've read like 100 something pages of that so far today. It's about 5 o'clock right now. So hopefully before the day ends, I will read some more of The Evolution of Mara Dyer. I'm sure I will. And yeah, I don't know if I'll finish it because it's about 500 something pages, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know my total for today in tomorrow's video. But for now, let's move on and do the reading challenges, both day three and the reading challenges. But now let's go ahead and do the video challenge for both day three and day four. So day three's challenge was to recreate a better cover or redraw a better draw a better cover for a book. And I chose a book that I actually read during the Booktubeathon. It was the first one I read, and it's a child called It. I really do not like this cover, but, you know, everyone... People are really loud outside. Hopefully you don't hear them, but I decided to draw up a... I decided to draw a cover for a child called It because I just really don't like this cover. I don't. I know there's a different edition that has a better cover, but I don't have that edition, so yeah. This isn't perfect, but you know, I gave it my best shot, and it's, you know, it's the thought and the vision that counts. So I have this here, you know, just a very simple cover, a child called it, and pretend it is more censored. C centered? Centered, not censored. <laughs> yeah, so tell me, what do you think? Which one's better? Let me know. And then today's reading challenge was to write a short story. And you have to use three book titles. I didn't use any titles. Actually, I used one title from what I've actually read in my Booktubeathon journey. But the other titles would not have fit in, like, a story without being, like, obvious. So I used two other random ones. So I'm going to read my short story and then see if you can figure out where exactly I used titles of books. And I'll tell you at the end. So my short story is titled Time. Tick tock. The sound of a functioning clock. A clock that shows the time. What a beautiful creature time is. It can hurt us deeply, or not at all. Time can heal. Time can make us foolish. We can forget about it for a while, and it is but a casual vacancy. It can control us. It can control the distance between us and what we most desire. But only if we let it. Time is a bitch. Time is an asshole. But we can still beat it, even in a race against it. Yeah, I'm so good at writing, don't you? So, if you... Oh my god, shut up, everyone. Okay, so the titles that I used in my short story were Beautiful Creatures. I just said creature, though, but whatever. The Casual Vacancy, for Casual Vacancy. And The Distance Between Us. Yeah, those are the three books that I used. Hope you caught that. Hope you enjoyed my short story. Probably not, but you know. 
Uh, that's all I have for this video, and I will see you tomorrow for my Day 5 Update video. Goodbye.